Okay, so we're looking at discrete probability distributions again. Uh, this time we're going to look at sort of an application of it. Really important that we understand uh, the maths that we can use here to sort of solve a question. So let's take a look at a quick one. Okay, so here's our question. Uh, two dice are rolled. Uh, find the probability that x is greater than 10. That is the value that shows on the two dice is greater than 10. Find the probability that x is less than or equal to 6. So it's less than or equal to 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. And then finally, this is sort of the harder one, find the probability that 3 is less than x, which is less than or equal to 8. In other words, the number is between uh, 3, well, it can't be 3, so 4, 5, 6, 7, or it can be 8. So 4, 5, 6, 7, or 8. Uh, that's the question that we're being asked. Uh, first thing to do is to set up a, a two-way table so we can figure out our probability distribution. Okay, so there's my two-way table. Uh, these numbers represent the first dice, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. That's all the things that can happen. These numbers represent the second dice, all of the numbers that can happen on the second dice. Now, uh, if the first dice has a 1 and the second dice has a 1, then that means that the total is going to be 2. Now, if the first dice has a 2 and the second dice has a 3, that means it's going to be 6. If the first dice has a 4 and the th second dice has a 5, that means it's going to be a 9. Now, uh, let's fill out that table. Oops, just got halfway through filling a table and realized I stuffed up. 2 plus 3 is 5, not 6. Okay, now there's our sample space, all 36 things that can happen. Now, um, we can draw up our probability distribution now. Um, X, oops, X being all the different things that can happen. So you can get a 2, a 3, a 4, a 5... run it out of space and then the probability of each of those happening so the probability that x is equal to x um, now there's only one way for you'd get a 2 so that's 1 in 36 there's two ways for you to get a 3 so that's 2 in 36 or 1 in 18 there's three ways to get a 4 so that's 3 in 36 or 1 in 12 uh, continue on like that Okay, so now we have our entire uh, probability distribution. Uh, all of this was, I guess, the hard bit. This bit's really quite easy. And in a lot of the questions you, you give, you'll be able to skip that first bit entirely uh, because the question will give you the probability distribution and we'll jump straight to a question that looks like, like this. Here's the probability distribution. Find this. All right, so if we're finding the probability that X is greater than 10... That's the sum of 11 and 12. Okay, so something's greater than 10, it must be 11 or 12. And the sum of those probabilities, that's equal to 1 in 18 plus 1 in 36. That ends up being um, 3 in 36, which is uh, 1 in 12. Okay, just made myself a little more space here. Now, this is the second question. The probability that x is less than or equal to 6. That means it could be a 2, a 3, a 4, a 5, or a 6. Um, now, to find the probability of any of those things happening, you just need to add them together. So, it'll be 1 in 36 plus 1 in 18 plus 1 in 12 plus 1 in 9 plus 5 in 36. Okay, and you add them all together, you get uh, 5 in, in 12. So the probability, if you roll two dice, that you get a number of 6 or less is 5 in 12. Now, finally, uh, this question here, the probability that x is uh, greater than 3 and less than or equal to 8. Um, so the numbers that will work there are 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Eight. Now again, you just need to add up your probabilities there. 1 in 12, uh, 1 in 9, 5 in 36, plus, um, why have I written 1 in 6 there? That should be 1 in, in 9. Oh, no, it shouldn't. That was right the first time, 1 in 6. Uh, plus 5 in 36. 
Now again, take that to your calculator, add them all up, and I'm hoping that should give us an answer of 23 in 36. Uh, yep, that looks about right, 23 and 36. Okay, so a fair bit going on here. Uh, provided you can handle this stuff sort of from, from the second half of this page down, as long as you can look at this table and then solve these questions, uh, you're really on the right track here with this kind of stuff. Okay, let's give it a try. <laughs> 